Pete, what can I say? Hello guys, it's Sasuke Dragon, and I am here to do a review of Salgare Ultimate X Amnesia. I got it! <laughs> now you can't say anything. Okay. One thing I hate about shows this season is so far, there are a few that stick with the manga. There are a few. But then there are those like this that completely skip a lot of stuff and then add their own twist to it. Now, albeit I did watch the show without subs, again, but there are so many differences, it is just not funny how many there are. The episode mainly starts off with the girl, I don't even remember anybody's names, <laughs> uh, with some girl just writing in her book about stuff. And then there's a ghost messing with her by picking up like her notes, moving her drink, and stuff like that. Then the guy uh, who is like the, not the club president, but just some other guy, some guy comes in who's the main character. And he starts talking to somebody in thin air, and this is from that girl's perspective, and very stupid nine minutes. And the show basically repeats itself twice. Because we see it from the girl's perspective, and then we see it... See it for the guy's perspective. And it is kind of a bad episode. But after all is said and done, we get to see some other character who does not appear in the manga for the first few chapters, and I have no clue who the person is. So right away they had a character who doesn't who isn't even in the uh manga. So maybe she appears later, I don't know. They go to this elevator of malice, uh, the guy gets hit into the elevator, and then it switches uh, sides, and then we see everything again, we see that it was a ghost called like Yuto or Yuko or something like that. See all of the things she was doing, because she's very funny, she's really the only character I like so far, but when you go by the manga, this was done very differently. Okay. They go to the elevator. Turns out she kicks the guy into the elevator. An entire sequence of them talking to each other that doesn't even happen in the manga goes on. And... Well, I actually like that part, but uh, they get out of the elevator. Uh... Some conversations ensue about how they found a grave for the person with this name. They go see it, and then they find a bell. And that's pretty much the end of the episode. And I actually read the manga before, uh, I mean, after watching this thing, and uh, they entirely skip the first chapter, and then they take some things from chapter 2 and make it an episode. I'm currently like 20. And now on to the differences. So many differences in this show. Uh, the main difference is how everything gets done. Because in the show we have this upper uh, fourth girl with blue hair and stuff that doesn't even appear in the manga at this point in time. And... That is blatantly obvious as soon as you get to the second uh, chapter of the manga. Some of her complaints is uh, when they go to the grave, the girl runs off in the mo uh, in the show, but in the manga she just stays there, yada yada. And instead of finding a bell, they find a comb in the manga. And also, we got to see the person's. Skeleton in like the first chapter. My main gripe is we didn't even get to see anything of the first chapter. So it's kind of stupid how they started this thing off, and now my hopes are kind of uh, not high for the show anymore because I was looking forward to this. <sighs> Although the animation and music was good. Mysterious voice. Do you think animation and music can make up for the changes? No. My thoughts exactly. I don't even know what you're talking about. Not saying now. Okay, guys, I'm Sasuke Drake Khan. These are my thoughts and opinions. I really hate it when they change the manga. 
to in anime form like they did with this, skipping an entire chapter, that's not cool. But we get what we get, so for now guys, I'm out, adios, and don't forget to leave a comment on what you thought.